up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Tonight, we're going to talk about the Avengers, and I'm not going to give out any spoilers, so we're just going to kind of navigate the situation, but let me tell you guys, if you guys are superhero fans, Marvel fans, DC comic fans, you know, any kind of, you know, sci-fi even, because this, this movie really does have some sci-fi with it, along with the superhero stuff, unbelievable movie. Matter of fact, um, Aaron and I went to Tennessee to, to visit Seamus um, while we were out there, and we saw it twice. We saw it twice in 24 hours. It was that good. And it was a three-hour movie. So we saw it the first time, and, you know, Aaron and I hadn't really slept. Fucking, we were just super tired. We'd been up for, like, 24 hours. We watched the movie, which was awesome. And we decided to go again the following night. And um, you see it more than once. You see more shit than you saw the first time. Like, it's actually better the second time, less than 24 hours. I figured, like, you know, going to see it again would be cool. But in the end, I was like, wow, I saw this and this and this. I didn't notice that the first time. Pieces of the storyline that you don't necessarily get. If you see the movie more than once, you're going to be, you know, very, very, very pleased with the fact that you're seeing stuff that you didn't see before. Now, a few things I don't want to put out there. Again, this is not spoilers. So, you know, if you don't want to know any of this stuff, just shut it off. But they're not spoilers. Zero spoilers here. Number one, the um, animation was, or the computer-generated graphics, CGI, Unbelievable. I mean, next level shit, especially the Hulk, what they did with the Hulk. So Marvel's already spoken up that they're not going to do anything more with the Hulk. There's not going to be more Hulk movies or anything like that. They can't figure out what to do with the fucking thing. You know, the first two that they made had Eric Bana in it and fucking Edward Norton. And I, you know, I liked the Edward Norton one a little bit better because I liked him as David Banner or Bruce Banner. Because David Banner was on the TV show. I think Bruce Banner's in the movies. And, you know, I liked his character better, but Hulk still looked very cartoony. Right? It still looked like a giant fucking cartoon running around. They, they did the best they could at the time. But now that the Avengers Endgame is out, the CGI is just fucking unbelievable. Like, the Hulk really looks fucking real. Like, it looks about as real as you can get without actually being a real person, which was fucking awesome. Now, the same goes for Thanos. Thanos, the main bad guy that's in the movie, he was in um, the other Avengers, the last Avengers 2, which was, um, this is Endgame. The other one was Civil War. There was Civil War. There was... Um, there's three, there's three, I think. This is the fourth one. Age of Ultron, he wasn't in. Infinity Wars, he wasn't in. He was Infinity Wars. That's what I think it was Infinity Wars. He was in Civil War, then Infinity Wars. So he was in Infinity Wars. Getting all my movies confused over here. But Thanos, you guys, of course, know, looks just like Rich Piana. He's built like him. He looks like him. He's got the same fucking chin, same type of eyes, same kind of mannerisms and shit. It's almost like they, they kind of looked at Rich and said, we're going to base this character off him, which we know Thanos has been in the comic book. So I don't think, you know, unless, you know, they looked at, like, well, on the big screen... We're going to have to come up with something more human-like and not cartoon-like. Why don't we roll with Rich Piana? It's very possible that, that, that that's possible. But Thanos in this movie is extremely, extremely realistic looking at the same time. And, the, you know, the fight scenes, listen, the fight scenes are unbelievable. You have the, the overall, like I'm trying not to give any, anything away at all. The overall storyline of Endgame is where everything actually ends. Now, Marvel has gone out and said that they're not going to do any more Avengers movies. They said they're not going to do any more um, certain franchises because they're going to move on into the other Marvel universes. And I didn't really know what that meant because I didn't really pay attention to the comics that much because there was so much going on. And when I was a kid, comics, you had like Spider-Man and certain ones. This one was like Spider-Man, Mrs. Spider-Man, Pig Spider-Man, fucking like all these different ones because there was multiple universes. And I watched this movie called Enter the Spider-Verse. I actually bought it because you couldn't, you couldn't rent it at the time. And after watching the Enter the Spider-Verse, now I understand what these other universes are, the Marvel universes where... At the same time that, you know, Peter Parker is Spider-Man, there's also, like, a, a pig, a cartoon pig that's Spider-Man. There's also a girl that's Spider-Man. They're all happening at the same time in different dimensions. And somehow they all get pulled into... Now, this is not Endgame. This is Spider-Verse. They all get pulled into this one thing, and they're all together. So now I'm like, okay, I have a concept of what these other, you know, universes are. So they're talking about now doing, like, you know, another X-Men... Not X-Men, but a Wolverine movie without Hugh Jackman. Like, another... Um, Let's say Iron Man movie without Robert Downey Jr., another, like, you know, fucking, you name it. They're talking about doing these movies with different people as the characters because they're other universes. So it wouldn't necessarily be, you know, Peter Parker. It would be someone else. Or it would be Peter Parker, but he would be different because it's a different universe. You know, and I think that they should explain that shit before they start doing these movies. But I personally can't see anyone playing Iron Man but Robert Downey Jr. I can't see anybody playing Wolverine but Hugh Jackman. You know what I mean? The new kid that's playing Spider-Man, I can't really see anybody playing Spider-Man besides him. You know, like they've done such a good job at bringing those characters to life that you're now going to start over, which I, mean, I get the fact that they don't want to push it too far with the actual, you know, actors and characters now, 
But if everybody's still loving it and there's there's ways to go before everybody gets sick of it, it doesn't make any sense to cut it off. But that's the direction they're going to go. So that's like, that's why they put Endgame out, which is supposed to be the end of this chapter of the Marvel Universe. Now, they are going to do a Guardians of the Galaxy again. Um, a new Spider-Man called Far From Home or Away From Home or something like that is coming out. So there's going to be other things out that still have those characters in them. But they're saying like the main characters like Iron Man and you know Captain America and stuff like that, like they're not going to be any more movies after that. Or if they do, they're going to be different universes. So different people playing the characters, which would be, I guess, interesting. So, so the comic book fans understand that and they're going to be super psyched about it and enjoy it. But people like me that weren't big comic book fans as kids, you know, we're going to look at it and be like, this is really fucking weird. Because as you, you know, you know, Batman, DC Comics, Michael Keaton was okay. You know, when I was a kid, that's all we had besides Adam West when I was a kid. But it was such a different kind of character Batman from Adam West on the TV show to um, Michael Keaton that you were like, okay, Michael Keaton, he's Batman. Yeah, Adam West is the old Batman in the blue, but this, this is Michael Keaton. And then they moved on to like Val Kilmer, which I thought sucked. They moved on to George Clooney, which I thought sucked. And finally, Christian Bale, and they changed the whole thing again. So it was very different. It was another universe, right? It wasn't the same thing. It wasn't the, the very cartoon-like stuff from Tim Burton. You had now the Christian Bale character of Batman that was very realistic, and they went way back into the backstory, and then they explained how he became Batman, but they also explained how his gadgets come about too, which is awesome when they had like the spelunking fucking vest or whatever that he turned into his fucking bat uniform, right? He had this like grappling hook that was for fucking spelunking anything too, right? He had the... um the Tumblr, which became the Batmobile, like, so it made it realistic, like, wow, that's really could happen, and when they made, like, Bane, right, Bane, or even the Joker, Joker was a guy with, like, face paint on, he wasn't, like, the Bat, the Joker from, um, the Michael Keaton movie, where, like, his face was actually the clown, and you'd have to put makeup over it to look normal, like, it was very cartoon-like back then, you know, and then the Christian Bale Dark Knight series came out, and it was very, very, um, I think realistic, and that's the one I kind of liked the most, and they moved it to Ben Affleck, and I thought it completely sucked, I thought he was terrible as Batman, right? We had Christopher Reeves, who was amazing. And then it kind of tanked a little bit when we had, you know, other people try to play the Superman. Then we had this Henry Cravail guy come out. And, like, he took it to the next level, who looked like Superman. and really enjoyed him, and now he's out. So it's like, you know, they go through these different actors for these different characters, but a lot of times they don't hit. You know, a lot of times these actors don't give that, that character life. That's really believable. Like Christian Bale is believable. Henry Cavill is believable. You know what I mean? Like Robert Downey Jr. is believable. The guy, Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, believable. These guys are all believable in those roles. So to try to put someone else in there, you're having to erase your memory of basically what you know. And hopefully these guys and girls can re not replace, but create these new characters, which um, I just really don't see any point. But I mean, again, I'm not the biggest comic book fan, so I don't understand. So there's a lot of people out there that are super excited for the new universes to start. But Overall, you know, this endgame ties up every single fucking thing that ever happened in a Marvel movie. That's what's awesome about it, right? And everybody knows that, so this is not a spoiler. You know that everything gets tied up in this one movie because Marvel has said this is the last movie. So you have to understand that when you're going into this, everything you ever wanted to know about these characters that was missing is in this movie. Now, it's a three-hour movie. There's a lot of information, a lot of action going on, but... It's so worth it going to see it, especially if you're a Marvel fan. Even if you're not a Marvel fan, if you're just not even a, a superhero fan, it's an awesome movie. People are going to see it and they're like, fuck it, it's awesome. So for me, it was absolutely hands down my favorite superhero movie I've ever seen in my whole life. And easily one of the best films ever that I've ever seen. Now that's just me, my opinion and what I like. Some people, you know, I've seen people say, you know, I fucking hated it. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I've seen other people say, oh, they don't stick directly to the, to the storyline of the comics, so I don't like it because of that. I get it. You know, people are going to like it or not like it. But the bottom line is, this thing is the final chapter to all these other, like, it's the final chapter not just to the Avengers. It's the final chapter to, like, Iron Man, to Captain America, to the fucking Hulk, to Ant-Man, to all these guys. And I don't mean final chapters and there's never going to be another movie made of them. I mean a final chapter with those characters by those actors that have been kind of all along kind of shifting and kind of combining to get to the point where they made the Avengers movies and then whatever kind of pieces because there were always pieces left out because you didn't see like an Avengers movie and then a Iron Man, Captain America, Ant-Man, Spider-Man you didn't see like you know all every Avenger movie then the next one you know what I mean so it was like you saw maybe one or two different of the Avengers had other movies in between the Avengers movies then the Avenger movie popped up so it was like the movies like Iron Man or whatever, after the first Avengers, they talk about what happened. Oh, what happened in New York and stuff. Like, they talk about what happened during the Avengers movie. So you can kind of, like, follow it through that. But you never really get 
what the other characters were doing because you didn't get to see the other characters because they didn't make movies about them. So now all of a sudden they show up with the next Avengers. You know, like we've had um, Black Cat, a Black Panther, not Black Cat. Black Cat's another fucking comic. Black Panther, who there's only been one movie of Black Panther. Although he's been in, you know, the other Avengers that he was in, or was it Captain America? I think it was, it was Winter Soldier. I think he was in, right? Anyways, bottom line is. You don't see, if we had three Black Panther movies, that would have told a lot more about what's happening in this movie, right? If we had three, um, we've had two Hulk movies, and plus the Avengers, but those things just sucked. If we had three really good Hulk movies with um, Mark Ruffalo in it, we would understand a little bit better what was going into this, but they just, they, they tie it all up in this movie and explain everything, and it turns out fucking awesome. So, if you guys want to go see it, it's two thumbs up all the way, guys. I can't tell you enough how much fun I had seeing this. And again, like, Aaron and I went to see it with, um with Seamus, like, two nights in a row. Like, we were both like, yeah, okay, fuck it, let's go. You know, let, let's go see it again. And by the time we got out of the second movie, seriously, it was like, fuck, I'm glad I went to see it again. Because I saw this, which I didn't see before, and I understood this now. And, you know, the first time I had to get up and go to the bathroom, so I missed a piece, so I know what the fuck happened in that. So, overall, you know, if you're going to go see this, guys, do the 3D. You know, first night we did 3D, second night we didn't. Um, I'm glad we did the first night, because it was enjoyable the second night, but the first night, you know, 3D, you're just like... The screen's crazy. If you can go to IMAX, fucking go to IMAX because it's just that badass of a movie, graphics-wise, that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Though, right from the front, from the fucking intro, right from the first fucking scene, you're just like, what? What the fuck? Oh fuck! You know. And then the music plays and stuff, and then it just goes into the, you know, the action right away. Boom! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And you're just like, fuck it. It's it it it's it's a roller coaster up and down. And there are scenes that are you know are emotional. There are scenes that are very aggressive. There are scenes that, you know, it explains where um, other characters have gone. I mean, it explains everything. Like, it just explains everything and how they all fit together. And in the end, it's one of those movies that I think that it's going to go down as a very legendary movie. It's going to go down as a, as a kind of a new sort of measuring stick for CGI and storylines together because it actually had a really good storyline, too. So... Hope you guys enjoy it. We enjoyed it so much. And, um, you know, I'm not ruling out going to see it a third time in the theaters right now. But Avengers Endgame, two thumbs up. I am so fucking happy with to see it. You guys, if you have seen it, without giving any spoilers away, because we don't give that sucks giving out spoilers. But without giving any spoilers, like, let me know how you guys liked it in the comment section below. Because I'm actually going to check this comment section after a little while and see what's up, guys. So thank you guys for watching. And we're on to the next Marvel movie, guys. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. But don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is the blog. It's the Avengers Endgame Bicep. And we are out. <laughs>